Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today to showcase the new deck from the new set of the uh, Magic Stone Wars Zero. And we're we're showing blue green this time. We're yep. gonna just we're gonna still play with the double rulers because they're just they're really good. They're what they do, and there's lots you could do with them. Yeah, so much variety. Yeah. So we're playing Mujdard and Feasting today. But before we get into the guys, we should remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. You can go check out all the decks early on our Patreon. We always post them early and we have like little extra questionnaires and all kinds of cool stuff on our Patreon. So go check it out. It really just takes a dollar to give us some love support. We greatly appreciate it. Also down below, you'll find our FOW Grimoire app. It is our uh, own app that we made for the game Force Will. And it's it's really good for what it does. It's a good deck base slash data builder, data, database slash deck builder. If I can get those correct, you know. Yep. But you lot, can make any of kind of deck. Yeah, you can make any kind of deck you need to, and whenever you're on the whenever you're on the go and you're like, hey, I have this idea, you can put it down real quick and you don't lose it. Uh, but it's really simple. That is down below. Let's delve into the deck called Monsoon. So, Mujdart and Feasting is who we're playing as the rulers. The first one is Mujdart. She's the blue ruler, the six sage tag team ruler. She's got judgment of two blue and one. Uh, if you would draw a starting hand, you draw a starting hand plus one additional card, then your max hand size is increased by one until the end of the game. Whenever you do judgment of a ruler, draw a card, and then tap draw a card, and you may put a card from your hand. If then put a card from your hand on the bottom. Yep. So you have to do it, but you get free card draw. And then she judges into a zero seven flyer. This card gains plus three hundred for each card in your hand. Whenever this card deals damage to an opponent, draw a card. So pretty simple. You're gonna yep. have cards in your hand the whole time in this deck. That's what this deck's supposed to do. Which is pretty good for. It looks like it's gonna be a slight control deck here. Yeah. So we, uh, the next rule, the tag team ruler is Feasting. Uh, the judgment is green, green, and one. Also tag team six, six ages. And at the beginning of the game, you may uh, mulligan up to three times, which is pretty powerful. And then you may do a judgment anytime you could play a card with quick cast and then tap, produce one, spin this only to play chance. So you're just hopefully controlling the board for sure. And then when you do judgment, uh, she needs to see, so she puts on glasses because she's flying. It's a five, seven, enter. Choose up to two. Cancel target spell. Forbid all damage that would be dealt by target in, uh, entity until end of turn. And this happens because it has quick cast to be able to judge one. So that's pretty awesome right there. Yeah. Uh, and you do have the energize on both of them. They just don't have it anymore as an actual word, but it yeah. is there. All right. So the main dude of the deck is the Academy Guard of Lycaon. He has one blue for a 4-4 four, four with quick cast. Each player may only play one resonator spell per turn. And each player may only play one chant per turn. Gross. So yeah, we're playing control, and it's the worst kind of control. I hate that very much. I'm so. just saying because you're playing taxes as bad as we are. Like we're just like, hey, you get to do one thing, and I get to counter it. That's, that's how this works. All right. The next one is Illusionary Mermaid. It's a one blue one seven. J resonators. Your opponent's controls cannot attack unless your opponent pays one. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. I told you, it's not going to be a yeah. fun deck, but. It's actually be really fun for the person playing it, but not the other way around. As control always is. Yeah. Next is Chilina, the sorceress of sending back slash send back. She is one blue for a three five. Enter. You may return target resonator to its owner's hand. If any of you control an opponent controls would be put into the owner's hand by an ability of another card, you may put it at the bottom of the deck instead. And then slash slash send back is the bottom part. It's one blue, uh, sorcery or chant bounce target thing. Yeah. It's pretty uh, good. Addition Regalia Resonator. So you're like, cool, put that on bottom. If I have one of these in play, it puts it on the bottom of the deck. Which is just uh, essentially a kill spell for super cheap. Yeah. When she's on the field. Oh, I do not want to talk about her, but we will. <laughs> Vala, the Bewildering Mage. It's two blue, five heroes. It's She's a 6-6, six, six, but what she does, it doesn't matter, because this card went, could not be banished as it costs a spell or ability. Enter. Switch the control of this card and target Resonator your opponent controls. Forever. Yeah, it's she's it's so good. So good for two blue. It's ridiculous. Uh, next is Fiola, the Spirit of Oblivion. It is two blue, quick cast, five, six. Enter, put target non resonator spell on the bottom of its owner's deck. Put, remove this card in your graveyard from the game. Put four one counters on a J rule, a water J rule as you control. So yeah. this helps you counter a spell for a turn. So you're like, cool, put that dude on the bottom, or put that spell on the bottom so you don't get to kill my dude. Exactly. Thanks. And when you can only play like one spell or resonate in your turn, yeah. that's going away. Yeah, cool. And of course, if you're talking control, we have to talk about this guy. It's Altsing Mischievous Boy. It's a two green, five, seven. It has quick cast. Enter, prevent all damage that would be dealt to by target J resonator until end of turn. G. For a green, return this card to the owner's hand. You may pay two green less to play the card name A Glimpse of Prodigy, which is the split card. 
Chant, quick cast, cancel target spell, or automatic ability. Yeah. So. So yeah, you can be like, cool, flash this dude in, prevent your damage, bounce him to my hand, counter your spell. Yeah. And it, it gets pretty bad. Very bad. Uh, next, I got wrecked by this dude, if y'all saw in the last game with Welser, the master of the six stages in his last lecture. This card is actually a lot more powerful than I gave it credit for. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but Welser is two green for a 6-6 six, six quick cast. Enter, return target spell to its owner's hand that this card was put into the field by effect of last lecture. Remove this card and put two own counters on each J rule you control. So it helps you give your dudes bigger if he comes into play from his last lecture, which last lecture is really good for him too. Yeah. <clears throat> it's one green. Recover a ruler you control. If it's a six stage, put this card's Welser into play instead of putting it into the graveyard. So you get to be like, cool, untap my dude, do more silly things, or untap feasting to counter your other spell, because I can. Yeah. Or <clears throat> just draw an extra card if need be at the same time with extra bonuses. So, yeah. Done. The first spell we have is a Bewildering Charm. It's one blue uh, Chant Mage Art. Uh, quick cast, choose one, return target resident here to its owner's hand, or draw a card. And with the lady, it just basically puts it at the bottom of the deck for one. Which is awesome. Here's another one that does the same thing. Illusionary uh, Flower of Sorrow. It is one blue uh, chant. Enter, remove, return target to resonator. Or no, it's an addition, sorry. Enter, return target resonator your opponent controls to its owner's hand. Rest to recover J rule you control. Rest target J resonator. It doesn't, ha doesn't recover during its next recovery phase. So this is a one drop addition that bounces a thing to their hand. And if you have her in play, it bounces to the bottom. While it's in play, you can tap your ruler to tap down the dude That's and they can't That's ridiculous. Untap it. Like, it gets pretty silly. Because you're just like, cool, tap this dude at the end of the turn, you don't get to untap. Yeah. Like that one person you text for that one resident to swing, and you're like, no, tap it instead. <laughs> yeah. He goes to sleep. That's pretty good. Waking and Feasting, it's one and an X. <clears throat> search your deck for a resident with total cost of X or less and put it in the field. If this card was awakened, search up to two resident with total cost of X or less instead. Shuffle your deck. Then, then shuffled your deck. Awakening, rest to recover, name, feasting you control. So you can get two dudes for really cheap. Maybe two mages to swap out two resonators, which is cute. Yeah, it's why the Vala's there, because you can be like, cool, I need to go switch out Vala's and take your stuff, because yeah. I can. Uh, next is Mermaid's Thunder Parasol. It is one blue for a quick cast uh, chant. This card does 400 damage for each card in your hand to target J Resonator. Shuffle this card in its owner's deck as it resolves. It doesn't need to just be in the exploration of yeah. the Celestia, but... It's still really good. It's one blue kill spell. In this hand, you're going to have a lot of hand. You're going to have a lot of cards in your hands. So you're just like, cool, kill that. Yeah, done. The Awakening of Mujadar. It's two blue. Uh, draw two cards. If this card was Awakened, draw three cards instead. And you just basically, for the Awakening cost, you tap down Mujadar. And that's okay. Two, yeah. two mana for three. That's pretty good. Uh, and the last card of this of the spells is uh, Magic Beanstalk. It is a green and one. That's actually a Resonator. It's for a 0-10 Fairy Tale Resonator. Oh. One of this... Third or subsequent growth counters put on this card, banish it. If you do, search your deck for a resonator, put it into the field. And you rest to recover generally you control, put a growth counter on this card. So if you have nothing else to do, you play this turn two, and you're just like, cool, in turn tap, put two counters on it. Yeah. The next turn I can do this at will, put a counter on it to go get a Vala to steal your thing, or play an Alta Sing, or any number of dudes. Yeah. Is really, really nice for this, because you're like, cool, get that. Yeah, or even on their turn, tap it, bring in a Welser or whoever to counter whatever yeah. they're doing, and then you're like, hey, what's up? How's <laughs> yeah. it going? Cool, thanks. It's pretty cute. Um, but the deck is going to be super wild. It's just it's going to be super long. I, yeah. I'll tell you that right now because it's just super controlling. And all you need to do is win the first round, and then you win. <laughs> yeah. Then you win Force of Will. Um, but the stones they're really simple. We're playing Magic Stone of the Six Stages, Adarakis Memoria, and Magic Stone of the Deep Wood. So Cardwell should not get mana hosed at yeah. all. Because all stones add blue green, Good. so if he does, then I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with him. But yeah. that is where the deck is. Yeah. Uh, the deck list will be down below. Go check it out. It's and it's it's going to be a fun deck to play. And we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below, then subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.